Hey, 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 what's up everybody? My name's Failproof and today I'm covering some basic skills you'll need on your first day in Surviland, a brand new survival game with intricate crafting and a beautiful world to explore. Let's jump right in. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna make right off the bat from the get-go in Surviland is a stone blade. Now, this tool has many advantages, the first being the tool's size in the player's inventory space. The stone blade occupies a minuscule 1x2 area in the player inventory, making it one of the most effective items to keep on you at a low cost to your storage. Second, the stone blade is so damn easy to create and is still almost as good as the Keltax in chopping almost everything. You'll hardly notice a difference whacking down coconut tree after coconut tree with ease. To make the stone blade, you'll first need to find a small stone. These are found in abundance along the beaches and next to large rocks in two varieties, white and gray. But this won't make a difference. Next, you'll have to find yourself a stone slate. Here, there's a huge difference between white and gray slates. If you use a white slate, your stone blade will be considerably slower to use than if you use a gray slate. So I would recommend using a gray slate if you can. While slightly less common than small stones themselves, you can find stone slates in pretty much the same place. But if you happen to not be able to find one lying around, you can just smash any old small stone you find on the ground with another small stone and make some yourself. Now for the crafting. This should be your first look at Surveillance crafting system, which can seem daunting at first, but it's actually quite simple once you get into the nitty gritty of it. Drop the stone slate on the ground in front of you by tapping or holding Q. Next, hit T. This will change your player into Surveillance crafting mode, allowing you to combine items to make more powerful tools and weapons to help you. Hover over the stone slate with your small stone in hand and select Nap on the crafting wheel. And there you go! Your first tool in Surviland. Next up is the Keltax. This tool is considerably more complex to make than a stone blade because it uses more than one crafting node. It also takes up more space, but this is made up for by its increased stats. Fair warning, I'm going to assume you already have yourself both a small stone and a stone blade at this point. So if you don't already have those, get them first. To create a Kelt Axe, you'll need to first create a chisel to be used in creating the Kelt Handle. To make the chisel, you'll need a stone bar. Stone bars are found in close proximity to small stones and next to large rocks. When you find one, grind it with either a small stone or stone blade into a stone chisel. Once you have your chisel, you should then create the axe head. Find a stone slate and grind it with either a small stone or stone blade. Now, to create the Kelt Handle to hold the axe head, you have to find branches. Branches can be found along the beaches in almost the same spots as small stones. Break down one branch and it will turn into one stick. Or if it turns into a long stick, just break that down. Then place the stick on the ground in front of you. Take out your chisel now, along with either a stick or a small stone in your right hand. It is very important that the chisel is in your left hand for this part. Now, enter crafting mode and chisel the flat side of the stick and then set all the crafting nodes to X's and you should have a Kel handle. If you don't, it means you chiseled the wrong side of the stick. You can fix this easily by chiseling the other end of the stick and replacing the previously chiseled crafting node with an X. However, as of version 0.5.0.1, X crafting nodes were removed, making for a much faster crafting sequence, but meaning that if you mess up, you can't undo it. Take out your axe head and place it with Q on the side of the Kelt handle with a hole in it. This is easiest done with the axe head in your left hand. Now hammer it in with a small stone and voila, you've got your Kelt axe. By this point in your Surviland adventures, you're probably noticing a problem with your storage. It's small. The player inventory can hold maybe four to five items max if they're small and even less if they're bigger. To get around this and store a few extra items on you, you can craft a primitive belt. To make the primitive belt, you'll need two pieces of rough fiber. The easiest way to get rough fiber is through fan palm trees. Get out your Kelt Axe and chop one of these babies down and hack away at the tree trunk. When it breaks, you should have some rough fiber laying around. Next, with nothing in your hands, go into crafting mode and move your cursor over a piece of rough fiber. Select spin on the crafting wheel, you should have created a fiber rope. Make one more fiber rope through the same method and then drop one on the ground while holding the other in your right hand. Move your cursor over the fiber rope on the ground and go into crafting mode. Select spin for both crafting nodes and there you have it, a primitive belt. And you get to keep one of the ropes. You can then equip the primitive belt on the belt slot in your inventory, giving you access to two additional storage slots that can store things like your trusty Keltax, rope, and other materials. The primitive belt also gives you access to hotkeys that allow for quicker swapping between tools. Finally, you'll need a torch to walk around in the dark and get things done during the night in Surviland. 
which can last quite a long time. To make a torch, you'll need a stick, a piece of rough fiber, and a fiber rope. All of these items you should already know how to get. Drop the stick on the ground in front of you and make sure your rough fiber is in your hand. Go into the crafting mode and hit Q on the flat end of the stick to place the rough fiber on it. Now, take out your fiber rope and in crafting mode, tie the rough fiber to the stick. And that's it. Now you've got your torch to walk around in the dark with and all the tools you should need for your first day in Surviolent. Thank you so much for watching my first video on Surviolent and my very first video on this channel. In retrospect, after the patch made this morning to the game, some of this information will be outdated. So go back and look at the annotations I've made on the video if something I said doesn't make sense. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video and to tick the notification bell so you can be aware of new videos covering Surviland as it develops and other fun videos too. Most of all, hit that subscribe button if you like my content. It's the best way to support my channel and I appreciate every single sub. See you next time guys.